know what everybody this is mad today. <laughs> Look at me today, I'm all colourful. I'm like spring. <laughs> well, what a morning I've had. A very exciting morning. Very exciting morning have I had. Because my you know my cousin Dorothy Drippy Draws, right? She phones and she says, Hello Marjorie. Violet, the woman who runs the bingo, has gone on a white water rafting experience and we've got nobody to shout out the numbers at the bingo. I says, what you're saying, Dorothy, is you'd like me to redo the numbers. She says, yes, Marjorie, would you do that because, you know, you're a people person. I says, leave it to me, Dorothy, say no more, hen, say no more. So... I guess my cell already, right? I'll put this on. I thought, this is nice because it looks like all the, all the bingo, doesn't it? So I guess myself down to the hall and the wee janitor, Jimmy, right? Jimmy the janitor. He says, I'll show you the podium, Marjorie. And he shows me the machine and all that. He gives me this bit of paper. I says, what's in this bit of paper? And he says, that's all your bingo calls, you know, all the sayings. I went, oh, I'll no need that. I've been playing bingo for years. I can all the sayings. He says, oh, well, that's good enough. So, all the wee pensioners, they're all waving at me and I'm going, hello everybody, hello, you know, because you know me, I'm a people person, I say hello to everybody and I get out there and say hello, 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 my name's Marjorie, how do you do? So, we're sitting there, we're sitting there all ready to start and just, just making sure, you know, because they all thought they're a wee bit slow, so they're, you know, they're getting their coffees and their teas and they're getting their, their lids off their dabbers <laughs> and they're all excited, they're all smiling up and waving and going, oh, this is great, this is great, Violet's away, but have no fear, Marjorie's here. I says, oh, there's there's nothing I'll stop, there's nothing I'll stop a pensioner playing bingo, is there? <laughs> no, not even a, a sunum, sunum, you know, the big wave. Anyway, so... Everybody's smiling, looks down, here's Dorothy, you know, front row. Honest to God, I says, Dorothy, will, will you cheer up, hen? I'm here to save the bingo and look at you. you got a face like a bag of broken digestives. Uh, her feather was the same. Her feather was exactly the same. That's where she gets it. Like father, like son. Anyway, so I gets the microphone, right, and I'm going... Testing one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> and everybody's laughing and they're going, oh, that's something funny, Martin S. I know, I'm hysterical. I'm like Bob Monkhouse. Anyway, now the tension, the tension was building because, well, they knew that any minute, any minute now, the bingo was going to start. And they take it dead seriously. They take their bingo seriously. There's no, there's no carry on. There's no carry on. Once that bingo starts, it's heads down. Well, that's one of the wee scenes, isn't it? Heads down, here we go. Uh, up your auntie and 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 run run with the butchers. So I'm saying, oh my god, you could. I mean, you literally you could cut the tension with a kitchen slice. So we start the bingo right. They've all got their dabbers ready, and I'm like, on its own, twenty three. <laughs> they're all looking, going, that's not on its own. I'm six and three, and then they're all sitting dabbing sixty three, and I says nine. Well, I'm, there was a couple of pens went fleeing across the room and they were huffing and they were puffing. I went, you go you wait for the answer. It's not a maths quiz. I've no, you know, you wait for the, we wait for the number. So that, I says, don't, don't you start. I'll come down there. I'll slap you in the back of the head. I says, two little ducks. And they're all starting to happen again. I went, what's wrong with these folk? Well, they no wait for the number. I says, 66. Dorothy. Marjorie, two little ducks is 22, not 66. I says, I thought 66 was the two little ducks. And she says, no, Marjorie, it's clickety-click. I says, well, clickety-click, 66, two little ducks, there you go. Are you sure there's no two little ducks? Are you sure there's no two little ducks sitting down? Maybe they're sitting down to have a wee... <laughs> anyway, no. Right, so they're mere huffing and puffing. I'm saying, top of the shop... Toilets. Now, why, is, why do they do that toilets in a department store? The toilets are always at the very top. So if you walk in, you're just walking down the street, right? You walk into Debenhams. Well, you wouldn't walk into Debenhams now because it's shut. So you'd have to break the door down. But if you want to go to the toilet, why do they always put the toilets away up the top? Like the lost property or the, the wedding service or the wrapping service. And, you know, by the time you get to the top of the stair, you've wet yourself. It says, but they no be better having the toilets at the bottom. Anyway, top of the shop, number 90. So they're all, they're all dabbing away. And I'm like, two fat ladies. Me with a mirror. <laughs> I didn't mean with a mirror. I was howling. And they're all staring at me. And there's me huffing and puffing. And I'm saying, more than 11, 12. 
So, oh, oh, but this time, oh, they were gone, they were gone mental. I mean, it was like an episode of Tenko. I thought, I, I'm no safe here. I am not going to make it out of this hall alive. I say, so, the wee, the wee janitors, the wee janitors looking at me, says, oh, you're pushing your luck, lady, you're pushing your luck. I says, oh, but it's a good laugh, isn't it? It's a good laugh. Nobody shout at bingo anyway, they're all, they're all throwing their pens and huffing and puffing and ah, nah, nah. And I, I stood up and I took the mic and I says, listen, will you all calm down? You know, will you try and not take this too seriously? At the end of the day, it's just a lot of balls. <laughs>